Naruto, 10 Most Heartbreaking Villain Deaths, Ranked While most villains are beyond redeemable, these are the ones from the Naruto series who deserve the most sympathy. Just like the heroes. Villains have their own role to play in the Naruto series. In opposition to the heroes who strive for justice and the desire to uphold peace, the villains also have their own motivations. Interestingly enough, not all villains start out as evil. Many villains in Naruto often have noble intentions, but at some point during their lives, they lose themselves and end up on the side of evil. However far they may stray from the path of good, some find redemption before they die. There have been many villain deaths whose stories are truly heartbreaking, as is their ultimate death. 10. Arashi's cousin will never be reunited with her cousin. Arashir is a shinobi of the Fuma clan. He is seduced by Orochimaru who promises to help restore the Fuma clan to its former glory. While Arashir is with Orochimaru, his cousin Sasami searches for him. Sasami eventually finds Arashir posing as Orochimaru and realizes that he is beyond saving. With Naruto's help. Sasami battles with her cousin, the commotion causing the hideout around them to collapse. Finally returning to his senses, Arashir tells Sasami that he has no intention of leaving the hideout. Arashir dies and Sasami realizes she will never get her cousin back. 9. Raiga sacrifices himself for Ranmaru's independence. Raiga is a jonin from the Hidden Mist village. He also serves in the Umbu Black Ops and becomes one of the Seven Swordsmen of the Hidden Mist. While serving in the Umbu, Raiga discovers a young disabled boy named Ranmaru. Ranmaru and Raiga explore the world together, both finding meaning in their lives, something Raiga always longed for. After an encounter with Naruto and company, Raiga realizes that Ranmaru depends on him too much. Raiga ends his life in order to set Ranmaru free. 8. Madara's friendship prevails over his misguided ideals. Madara is a member of the Uchiha clan born during the Warring States period. He befriends Hashirama Senju and the two share the same dream of creating a world where children no longer have to fight. However, when the two discover each other's identities, Madara severs his friendship with Hashirama. Madara and Hashirama's rivalry lasts for years. Even in death, the reanimated Madara holds a grudge against Hashirama. Madara eventually realizes that his methods for achieving peace were wrong. Before Madara dies Hashirama tells him that despite everything he has done, he is still a friend. 7. Conan renounces her evil ways and sacrifices herself. Conan is one of the founding members of the Akatsuki. Along with Nagato and Yahiko, Conan hoped to create a world of peace. After Nagato dies, Conan tells Naruto she is finished with the Akatsuki organization and offers paper flowers to him as a symbol of peace. Conan takes Nagato's body and places it with Yahiko's. She is the only person who knows where to find their bodies. When Tobi comes to the Hidden Rain village to take Nagato's Rinnegan, Conan dies trying to keep Tobi from obtaining Nagato's whereabouts. 6. Sasori gets killed by his grandmother. Sasori is a skilled puppet master from the Hidden Sand Village. Orphaned as a child, Sasori is raised by his grandmother, Chio, who teaches him puppetry. He later joins the Akatsuki and, along with Daidara, captures Gara. Sasori faces his grandmother in battle and she joins Sakura and Naruto on their mission to recover Gara. During their fight, Chio uses Sasori's mother and father puppets to defeat him. He dies in the embrace of the puppets of his parents. 5. Abito remembers his roots. Abito is a shinobi of the Hidden Leaf Village, presumed to be dead for most of the series. After he is rescued by Madara, Abito becomes one of the primary villains. 
However, Abido is manipulated by Madara and Black Setsu. During the Fourth Great Shinobi War, Naruto confronts Abito and makes him realize he has been manipulated. Abito finally reconciles within himself that he is still Abito Uchiha. A Shinobi of the Hidden Leaf When Kagaya attacks with her all-killing Ash Bones Jutsu, Abito sacrifices himself to save Naruto and Kakashi. 4. Nagato Dies Believing in Naruto Nagato does not start out as a villain. He wants to create a more peaceful world, solving conflicts without violence. For a time, he is even considered the child of prophecy by Jiraiya. After Yahiko's death, however, Nagato's means for creating a better world become increasingly dark. Naruto approaches Nagato, but refuses to exact revenge on him. Naruto's actions change Nagato, and he uses the Samsa of Heavenly Life technique to undo the death he has caused. The technique costs Nagato his life and he dies placing his faith in the future in Naruto's hands. 3. Zabuza regrets his treatment of Haku. Zabuza is a former member of the Seven Swordsmen of the Hidden Mist Village. He is hired by a thug named Gato to eliminate a bridge builder. Team 7 is in charge of escorting the bridge builder and inevitably runs into Zabuza and Haku during their mission. When Haku dies, Naruto chastises Zabuza for his coldness. Zabuza uses the last of his energy to kill Gato to atone for his treatment of Haku. As he's dying, Zabuza asks to be placed by Haku's side and dies hoping he and Haku end up in the afterlife together. 2. Haku lived life as a tool to protect. Haku is an orphan child who is taken in by Zabuza. He is trained to be the ultimate tool for Zabuza to use at his disposal. Before meeting Zabuza, Haku believed that his existence was unimportant. During his time with Zabuza, Haku develops the belief that a person only becomes stronger when they have something to protect. For Haku, Zabuza is the person he wants to protect. Haku is entirely devoted to Zabuza. He jumps in front of Kakashi's Chidori to protect Zabuza and dies believing he has fulfilled his duty as the ultimate tool. 1. Itachi was forced to be a villain. Itachi is a former member of the Umbu Black Ops and Shinobi of the Hidden Leaf Village. He massacres his entire clan, leaving only his younger brother alive. He leaves the Hidden Leaf as a criminal and joins the Akatsuki. Itachi plays his role as a villain very well, tormenting Sasuke whenever he has the chance. Sasuke spends his entire youth training to become stronger so that he can kill Itachi. When Sasuke finally succeeds in killing his older brother, Itachi smiles at him. It is only after Itachi's death that Sasuke learns of the suffering his brother endured by playing the role of the villain. <laughs>